Apple marketed the iPad Pro as the iPad that replaces your laptop. Does it really replace your laptop? Let's find out. The iPad Pro is just a big iPad to put it bluntly. It is as heavy as the first generation iPad and it comes with a 12.9 inch display with a resolution of 2732 by 2048 at 264 pixels per inch. As I said on my unboxing video, the display is just awesome. It weighs 1.57 pounds and it is definitely not a device that can be held comfortably with one hand. It becomes uncomfortable after a while. The iPad Pro has four loud speakers. I mean loud, really loud. Two on each end, accompanied by the lightning port and the smart connector to connect accessories like the smart keyboard or the Logitech keyboard. To give you an idea of the size of the iPad Pro, here it is next to an 11.9 inch Windows laptop. Apart from the size and display, another thing that stands out is the Apple Pencil. Yeah, it is a pencil and not a pen. And no, it doesn't come with the iPad Pro. Surprise? I'm not, this is Apple. You'll have to buy it separately by paying only $99. <clears throat> only. To me, the pencil is the best thing about the iPad Pro. You can write whatever you want to write, like I wrote, the Apple Pencil is pretty good. The writing experience is awesome. And uh, you can draw whatever you want to draw, like a beautiful portrait like this. There is zero latency. Writing experience is smooth. Almost like a pen and paper. Sorry, pencil and paper. And you can scroll through apps with the pencil as well. Perfect for taking notes in a class. If only the iPad Pro was available when I was a student. By pulling down the notification center, you can check the battery status of the Apple Pencil. It's a nice feature, and if you're running low on battery, you can just charge it by plugging it in into the lightning port. At the time of the recording of this video, the Apple Smart Keyboard for the iPad Pro was not available, so I connected my Bluetooth uh, keyboard with the iPad Pro. The typing experience was not bad, but again, only Certain apps like the Notes app were optimized to take advantage of the keyboard. It is not a great experience, but it's a work in progress, I guess, from Apple and from developers. So um, we'll see what happens. The feature that I liked the most was uh, toggling between the apps. If you have all, a lot of apps open, you can just use the keyboard shortcuts and toggle between them and go to the next app, which I thought was a nice feature. Performance is top notch and with 4 gigs of RAM, the A9X chip takes full advantage of iOS. Even though iOS has its own limitations, it still performs pretty nicely. The split screen view feature is quite useful on that big display. Sometimes it feels like the hardware is too good for the software, but that is maybe for the time being. Maybe it would have been better off running Mac OS X. Maybe iOS 9.10 will be more customized for the iPad Pro. Gaming on the iPad Pro is a pleasant experience. Games like Football Manager run smoothly and this pencil comes in handy to navigate the game menu. I can see this being a portable gaming device for some people as long as developers are committed to it. Watching video on that 12.9 inch retina display is a blast. Out of all the Apple devices on the market, the iPad Pro has the highest resolution display and it clearly shows. So to answer the question, is this a laptop replacement? The answer is no, it is not a laptop replacement. But it was never going to be a laptop replacement, even though Apple wanted it to be because of the software. The software is what holds it back from replacing a laptop. If it was running a Mac OS X or any kind of Mac operating system, then yes, easily it could have replaced the laptop. But for the timing, it is a niche product and only a few people will benefit from it. 
People like students who like to draw, take notes, or do a lot of stuff with their hands and they can use the Apple Pencil. It can be a great tool for them. I think in the future the iPad Pro can turn out to be a great product. But with the starting price of $799 right now, it is just an expensive iPad. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Kazi Adil signing out. Take care.